Joyce Willett is getting the eaves of her home in southwest Detroit painted. That's after she got a warning from a city housing inspector. She finds strict code enforcement galling since the block on Junction where she lives has no street lights. I think it's very unfair. They're breaking in houses and in garages, in cars, and they're looking if somebody's steps are painted or their house is painted. And, and we have no street lights for one whole year. The man who stays at the home is also upset. Ridiculous. Well, I, to, I talked to the inspector when he came out here. I told him, well, send the mayor out here and tell him to paint it for me. And that's what I meant, too. The fine threat is considerable. $500 fine if I don't have it painted in a short time. <laughs> well, you're getting it painted. Yes, I am. I, I thank God for this gentleman here. Mrs. Willett has lived here for more than 40 years and intends to stay. She just wants the neighborhood to be a better place. We've alerted the mayor's office about the absence of streetlights on the block. Neighbors are using spotlights to bring some light to the neighborhood. Mrs. Willett wants the city to improve its own operations before making more demands on homeowners on fixed incomes. We have no street lights. It's bad enough these lights are old, yeah. but they took all the copper out. That was a year ago, October. This is October. Still no street lights for all of us. In Detroit, Bill Gallagher, Fox 2 News.